Finn gets shown up by Cinnamon Bun? What the? Like, did everyone else just see that? Or, or, or am I going crazy? We'll get back to that in a second. Right now, let's talk about Flame Princess. Okay, so she goes to Finn for help. And all he wants to do is flirt with her. Finn, wake up, okay? I mean, it's it's over. It, she, she doesn't want anything to do with you. You should... Consider yourself lucky that she even came to you for help. So this guy, Don John, tries to take over the Fire Kingdom, right? And, um, Flame Princess tries to fight back, but then she she was poisoned by her own servant. And I'm like, you know, you know, what, what a traitor. How dare you poison Flame Princess? If I were Flame Princess in this situation, I would say, you know what, forget what everyone else thinks. Forget it. I'm going back to my evil side. Pull a pull a lemon grab, like one million years dungeon. And uh, Cinnamon Bun helps her escape from this army of hypnotized fire people. Uh, so he's become more of a protective older brother type figure to Flame Princess. They go to Finn for help, and let me tell you, Finn could not get have gotten more stalkerish than he was in this episode. It's bad enough there's already all these other stalkers in the show, and, and now there's Finn, too. Not only is he trying to flirt with her, but he also hid his fireproof suit behind some rocks in the Fire Kingdom in case he ever needed to go back there for whatever reason. Can't you take a freaking hint? He's so distracted by his feelings for her, that when they go up against all those guards when entering the, the palace, he, he's not even in his zone. Okay, he, he, they easily got captured because he's too distracted. Like, what happened? I thought you were going back to dedicating your life and services to Bubblegum. Uh-oh. You know what time it is? It's Rumble Time! In this corner... There's Cinnamon Bun versus the Fire Guards, and in this corner, it's Flame King versus Don John. Meanwhile, Flame Princess is in a battle of her own. A battle of emotion. Sounds to me like a soap opera. Just when everything's starting to look bad, oh look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Cinnamon Bun to the rescue! He comes flying in on that firewolf like the freaking Lone Ranger or some crap. And once again, Cinnamon Bun has succeeded where Finn has failed. And when they're going to escape, um, Cinnamon Bun gets blasted by, he gets blasted with fire by one of the brainwashed fire people. And, um, I guess the fire kind of went to his head and fully cooked him, because Prince Bubblegum stated in the past that Cinnamon Bun was half-baked. So, I guess the fire finished cooking him, and now he's more intelligent than he was before. Oh my goodness, we have a winner! It's Flame King! Oh, not for long though, because Cinnamon Bun just let the cat out of the bag. So they all overthrow Flame King, and then they put him back where he rightfully deserves to be. In a giant lantern. And then Cinnamon Bun makes this inspiring speech. And he leaves everyone awestruck. He just, he, he makes this speech how he knows where he belongs now. He wants to be by Flame Princess's side because he loves her. And I, I don't know if you meant like a love love type thing. Like, I, th I think he maybe just meant like love as a protector, as, as her guardian. I, I don't know. So this whole episode is basically Finn getting tripped up every time. And now he's getting shown up by Cinnamon Bun. Finn, the great hero of Ooh, gets shown up by the half-baked moron. But I never thought I'd live to see the day when Finn was shown up by Cinnamon Bun. Like, I waited two weeks for this crap? You gotta step it up, Finn. I mean, something needs to change here. Fast. You know what? Just forget this whole love triangle thing that's going on right now. Let's see what's happening with Ice King and Marceline. We need to see more of that kind of stuff. And what do you think? You know, should, should Finn 
and Flame Princess get back together, or do you think that train has left the station? And I know, I know he blew it and everything, but that that pairing was kind of spicing up the series. You never know; they could get back together in the future. And you know, I got to thinking, maybe this episode was symbolic, because come Thursday, and that that's Thursday will be two years since Flame Princess made her debut, and Friday is Valentine's Day. So coincidence? I think not. So, I, I think this episode was good. You know, Finn, I think Finn could have done a little bit better in his heroic attempts. But, other than that, it was good. Let me know what you guys think about the whole Flame Princess and Cinnamon Bun thing. Do you think it's kind of sweet, or do you think it's one of those what-the-heck kind of moments? That's all I had to say for right now. Thank you for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Have a wonderful day.